get these diamonds shining all my ring rings. Wanna get some? Ring ring, look at these diamonds shining all my ring rings. I can get some. Ring ring, now we are shining, swing is there, so don't ring. Coming back to the throne right here, all my heart is a real king. Disclaimer, this video is for informational purposes only. Neko and Scarlet don't condone any type of harassment. And please don't witch hunt any party that is involved with this situation. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is NC's Creator Corner, a.k.a. Neko here. I'm here with my co-host, Scarlet. We're going to be talking about a brand new show that um, that me and Scarlett put together called What the F is Going On. It is not going to be a drama-like show or segment. It's just going to be talking about tea and topics, the topics that need to be discussed. I got mixed up with my words. I apologize. And just other things that need to be addressed. Um, before we get on to the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here and want to become one of my kittens. You hit that red subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. With that out of the way, let's get on to the video. So, um... What we're going to be talking about is the wildfire and dumpster fire of what we call a VTuber company slash agency called Nichi Sanji. But we're going to be talking about um, like a little bit of history with it and how things went downhill. So if you didn't know, Niji Sanji is a VTuber slash agency company. And along with Hololive, Niji Sanji and Hololive are one of the biggest VTuber companies ever. They are first started in Japan and they um, have two similar things. They have a Japan um, side of it and they have a yen side, which is the English side. So, um, Hololive, we are not going to be discussing about that because Hololive is a lot different than Niji Sanji. So, both of these companies are pretty similar but very different. Niji Sanji has a Japan side and an English side as well. We're going to be talking about Niji Sanji yen. Um, we have a lot to cover, so strap in and prepare yourself. So, Niji Sanji Ian is to help with, um, bring VTubering, like, VTubers to the Western, uh, Western side of the world to bring to people, um, just to more exposure, more more marketing tactics for the western world of vtubing because back then vtubing stuff like was like kind of cringe but now it's like pretty well received and accepted but also it's just like a lot of people who are big anime fans would like this sort of content or even non-anime fans would like this too um if you don't know what a VTuber is, it is a person who uses an anime avatar or any other kind of avatar instead of using like a face cam or using their actual natural face, like myself who is using this model. Niji Sanji uh, first started with female talents, strictly female talents during that time. Now, Hololive did the exact same thing until they introduced 
hollow stars, which has male talents and male um, VTubering groups as well, like their newest group, Tempest. Tempest has become one of the most popular groups in hollow stars ever. Now, the same thing happened with Niji Sanji EN when they first introduced back in 2021 Noctix. And a year later, in 2022, Lexium debuted. These two groups became well known and well popularized as well, and it made Niji Sanji even bigger. That will be important later. Um, but today, we're also going to be talking about the main priority and center of this video. We are going to be talking about Selen Tatsuki. Selen Tatsuki was one of the earliest WAVE's members. Um, WAVE members. And she um, was part of WAVE 3. Um, they b debuted back in July of 2021, and a couple of months later, Noctix debuted, and then so on. So, yeah. <sighs> Again, I apologize for pausing this because this is a very difficult topic for me to talk about. So, during this process, I might take breaks of recording this. I'm going to pass it on to Scarlett to tell you the rest of it. So Selen was well loved as a VTuber and as a streamer. She was so invested in her fan base, which were called Dragoons. When she first debuted, she wanted to do stuff with her Dragoons like projects and host gaming tournaments with fans. But sadly, Niji would always get in the way because of their alleged excuse was it was against their activity rules. So a lot of things were canceled, like an art contest to see what Dragoon designs would be her new outfit. Niji wanted the artist to give up full rights to the design for free with no payment required. Selen didn't like that idea. So instead she paid for the artist out of her own pocket instead because the company refused to pay the artist. The second cancellation was Selen wanted to host a Fall Guys gaming tournament, but that got denied by management. Selen over time got more frustrated and disappointed because she wanted to interact with her fans because she cared about them and had a good heart. But as you can see, Niji kept shutting things down or slowing progress and projects as well. Now I will give back to Nico. She will tell what happened in last year of 2023. Thank you, Scarlett. So we're going to be talking about what happened, the biggest bombshell that ever dropped on Twitter that happened around during Christmas time of last year of 2023. So Selene, um was working on a very, very hard, very well wanted project that she wanted to do. And she hired um, artists, animators, and she did the vocals herself, but she had a lot of dragoons and a lot of her fans um, help with this project and etc. The song cover was Last Cup of Coffee and the song and this project has been in the works for almost a year, like all the way back to 2022. The project had been delayed by Niji and it's been put off for a long time because of that, but Selene wanted to keep going and doing it. So finally, on Christmas, now there are some different time zones and when the song dropped um, around here where I am, the song dropped around Christmas Day. Other people, it dropped on the day after Christmas, etc. Because of time zones and other things, etc. The song dropped and it was a huge hit with fans, but after 24 hours later, the song got privated by management. No, I'm not fucking kidding you. It got privated by management. It was so fucking disappointing about that. Um, because Selene worked so hard and money was spent on it, on it out of her own pocket, etc. 
So management wanted her to tweet kind of like, you know, a cover-up situation to, you know, um, to, you know, talk about why the song got taken down after 24 hours later. So she tweets out, and I quote, by Celine Tatsukiza Twitter account. This was posted December 25th, uh, 2023. Hello, I apologize, um, but management has privated the song. Please feel free to re-upload it since there was a lot of money and effort was done by so many dragoons, her fans, remember? I am really, really sad that this happened on Christmas, but I hope somehow you guys were able to to listen to it in listen to it in some way. End of quote. So Selene was very upset that management did that and it's actually heard that um that the project was um the money that she spent on this project to work on it was like fifteen thousand dollars and no and I'm like when I first heard that amount I'm like holy crap that is a lot of money to spend on a project but she worked really hard to get animators and um artists etc everything to work together to make this project and it again it was a Christmas present for her dragoons to get back to the community to show that her community is very creative very inspired blah 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 like I get that like it's it's really really sad that that happened but something went down when that tweet first dropped I wish I was joking but this happened two days later after the song was privated this is from Selene's account so um this is from as I mentioned from Selene Tatsuki's Twitter account this dropped two days later and I quote I apologize for the silence. I have been in the hospital after an accident. I will be staying there for a few days under supervision. I just got back access to my phone yesterday. And this was on December 27th of 2023. Two days after the song got privated, as I mentioned. And... When I saw that tweet for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope Selene's okay. I hope she's doing all right. I hope I wish her the best, blah, 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 like any typical Niji fan would do. And that's what most of the comments of the tweet was like saying. And I didn't think n- n- nothing of it, like just moved on, hope she's doing okay, etc., But then another tweet dropped. Let me get it. There we go. Uh, Again, this is from Selene Tatsuki's Twitter account. And this was a couple days later. December uh, 31st, 2023. And I quote, Thank you to everyone for the support ever since I have been gone. I discharged from the hospital. My parents are helping me out after my accident. Thank you to my dragoons for all your kindness and support. Support. You are the one. I've been trying my best in the new year. You're the ones that keep me going. Apologies for the reading here. But yeah, I was like, oh, good. She got discharged. She's getting help. And I was happy about that. But then... I didn't really think of it until somebody posted this tweet. Um, like, right after, not like a while back. When these tweets dropped, no one thought of it until somebody pointed it out. Now, this tweet was posted in February. And people are starting to put things together. This person says, Japanese apostrophe. 
So if you look at the difference right here, here's our apostrophe that we use, and here's the Japanese one. Ha! Huh. Kind of sus, isn't it? Kind of, kind of sus. So, yeah, but us fans of Dragoons didn't think of that because that was posted much later, everything, after we know about everything now. But going back to in December, things were quiet. Fans started, patients started wearing thin, yada, yada, yada. And it just kept getting, the wait just kept getting longer and longer. December was over and the new year of 2024 is coming. And we get this tweet around January 11th, 2024. At that time, um, we still have not heard from Selen. We have not heard anything. And some of her friends, like RPR, even tweeted, like, I haven't heard from my friend. I can't even contact her, her personal things, because she's always there to reach me out, even with her Selene account. I did not know I would need her personal, because she's always, always easy to reach, blah, 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 blah. And he hashtagged the movement where Selene. It started trending. Okay, so back on this, January 11th, 2024, this year, Niji Sanji Ian official um, posted this notice. He said, they say, and I quote, Notice, due, due to unseen reasons, we would like to announce that Selene Tatsuki will not be able to participate in any activities at Anime Impulse, Los Angeles, 2024, on January 13th through 14th. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience and disappointment because because to fans who have been looking forward to this, we hope that you still will enjoy the performance by other Niji Ian livers who are participating in the Niji Ian block party at Anime Impulse. Anime Impulse will directly con will directly uh, contact all all Selen Tatsuki meet and greet tickets holders in regards will. Well, in regards to her, well, tickets will be refunded. So they're like, Slen is still not okay. She can't make it. She's unable to do this, blah, 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 blah. And fans are starting to get more worried. And again, like I said, the where Slen hashtag started trending more. People were asking, dragoons were getting worried, blah, 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 blah. And... As myself, I was like, oh my gosh, this this is getting bad. This is getting really bad. And there are friends, like, um, dragoons. <coughs> dragoons are, like, worried and make posts and say, sorry, like, I, I hope this isn't too forcefully to say this, but I really want to know, and other dragoons have been waiting for, like, a month and, like, and now, like, it's a new year now. We haven't heard from Slen. And now, like, even during January, um, if I remember correctly, Pomu Rainpuff graduated on January 27th of this year. And Slen didn't get to say goodbye to her on stream. Fans were really upset about that. And Pomu was kind of sad about that, too. And... Yeah, it's kind of sad on that too because Pomu and Selene were really close and really good friends and had a good like friendship on stream and off stream. But um January goes fought, goes by really fast, blah blah blah. And then we get this bombshell. This bombshell that just dropped. Niji Sanji posts this on January 5th of this year. They drop a bombshell on this. Niji Sanji on their official Twitter account says, um, and I quote, Notice, termination of Selene Tatsuki's contract with any color. We are... 
we are hereby announced that we have made a difficult decision to terminate our contract with Nichi Sanji Ian Liver, Salan Tatsuki, effect immediately due to repeated breaches of contract, mismanagement statements, and on social media platforms. Attaching detailed explanation circumstance that lie in this decision have been taken. Thank you for understanding. Continue to support Nichi Sanji and Nichi Sanji Yen. So they written a three page statement. Like it's it's poorly done. It's poorly translated. And I'm not gonna read all of it. I know a lot of people have read this. A lot of like VTubers and other YouTubers who are not in the VTuber headspace have read this and even a fucking lawyer like has read through this termination and he has stated that this is a poorly decision on a business practice this is terrible he said that this termination notice should have been sent to Selene in private and should have been dealt with in private and the company just should have just said you know things didn't work out with Selene we decided to do this, but they just tarnish her and make her like, oh, she's a rebel. She, she, she did this. She did that. Just paint her in a terrible, terrible light. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it, they did this before. They did this to Zion, who was part of XLA back in 2022. They did this before. But nobody caught it because everybody was on Team Nichi, Nichi Sanji. Everybody was on their side because they were like, oh, Zion did this, Zion did that. But now that this has come out in the mismanagement of Selene, people are starting to apologize to Zion, say, I am so sorry, I shouldn't have done this, I should have done more research. And even the person behind Zion has come out with a document um saying like their backstory of like what happened behind the scenes and I am so going to link a lot of videos if you want to see more information about this. I'm going to link a lot of stuff in my description of like what to watch of like if you want to keep track of all of this because there's a lot been happening. And yeah, so they sent out this um three page statement or like document and they like say oh she did this she did that and it's just poorly translated poorly written it's just really bad business practices it was really really bad so on the same day of february 5th when the termination notice was sent out we get a little tweet from somebody called Doki, or AKA Doki Bird. It turns out Doki Bird is Selen Tatsuki's personal Twitter account. If you don't know this, Selen um, went by Doki. This was her persona before she joined Nichi Sanji Ian. Um, she was just a small streamer at the time, a small VTuber, and she went by Doki. So she went back on her personal account and said this. <clears throat> and I quote from Doki Bird. I will not be silenced anymore on, Decem on December... Hold on. <laughs> I do have to... I do have to give a trigger warning for you guys. There's going to be a lot of trigger moments in this I will put it on screen here and there's your fair warning sorry I almost forgot about that <clears throat> let's start over quote from Doki Bird and I quote I will not be silenced anymore on December I was hospitalized for an for an attempt that I was caused by a buildup of bullying with within and within and being in a poor being in a toxic and poor environment with numerous months that led to my breaking point. I request to leave 
first, but on more neutral terms on January 26th. On January 26th. Wow. So she says that there's a lot of stuff that is in the within the company. But again, she doesn't name who or what due to like she doesn't want to cause more problems because this matter is dealt is going to be dealt with in private. But oh boy. After that happened, um Doki decided to come back to streaming. Two days later, on a Wednesday, the 8th. (sighs) Doki came back and she decided to make this statement right here. I'm going to let Doki speak for this. I think think it's serious time. I pre-wrote this statement in advance. I only talk about this once and then we... Move forward! Celebrate Lunar New Year, new beginnings. So, as y'all know, when the announcement dropped, I was just as surprised as all of you. And I only found out because a friend messaged me. And I didn't even know what was in it. And I read it for, for the first time when it went public. When I saw no, that I tri- did try to leave neutral. Yes, I knew. It would be very bad for everyone involved if it went to the last possible route. And... And I tried to try and make it neutral. And I did get a lawyer because my emergency contact and I couldn't really handle it anymore. uh, Especially when I was still recovering. And I was lucky that I had a statement made in advance. uh, Which my lawyer helped edit in case this did happen. So I could respond instantly. The statement that was posted was written so I'd be safe and I can move for it and restart my life while being stuck in limbo forever. And I wouldn't have made the statement if the announcement didn't go up the way it did. I was willing to keep the info hidden to the public. And I never truly wanted the public to know why I was in the hospital, but I had to respond with the truth when it did went out. And I know there's a lot of people that wish for me to clarify, but I honestly can't. And I'm sorry. And these are the things that I can say I was in the hospital for an attempt. And I provided medical documents of everything that happened to prove it as well. As the therapy sessions afterwards and doctor evaluation. Everyone knew I was in the hospital and the reason behind it a few days before I was discharged. And I was not referencing something that happened once that pushed me to it. But it was a buildup that stemmed for multiple months. That led to my breaking point. I would never make this claim without proof or confirmation and only did so that my lawyer looked through the proof and believed and agreed it was happening within multiple months from what I showed. I honestly wish I could have met you all one last time and I cried when I found that I couldn't and I hope I can still meet you on the future even if I'll be a little different. My final note on all of this is let's not harass or bully anybody. I already know how that felt. I want us to be adults and not make it high school. And I want to move on, focus on us, succeed and be better. And the Lunar New Year is coming and it's two new beginnings. And it's time to leave the past behind us and make new memories. Like this entire stream, I have so many ideas I still want to do. And I really do want to make all you laugh for as long as I can. And I think from this entire stream, you guys can tell that I'm still me and they can never really take that away. So yeah, that was the statement that I wrote for this stream. And the two hour ad is finally over. Well, that seems about it on that with Doki. I am going to mention one more thing. The biggest bombshell that I thought was like I'm trying to get my words together. I thought this crap would be over. But boy was I wrong. The next bombshell that Nietzsche uh, decided to drop was a was pretty ironic 
and pretty dumb, but kind of sus. Uh, this is from Niji Sanji's official Twitter account once again. This was dropped on um, February 10th of this year. <clears throat> Notice about the February 11th GST, that means t- uh, Japan time zone, um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, Special Battle Event. After consideration about the current situation, we regard to the announcement that this event will be delayed so that we can um, uh, designate on our full attention to our processing and insecure quality to, of our livers and livers and well-being. We plan to reschedule this event for a date near the future. We will inform you when the new schedule will be confirmed. We seriously apologize for the short notice and we greatly appreciate your patience. <laughs> it sounds kind of sus because, oh no, Nietzsche's in hot water. Uh, they decide to cancel an event. Kind of like It just seems like crazy damage control or just like poorly, poorly damage control, etc. But then a couple days later happened. Alaya Alaya Pandora, one of the Niji Ian livers from their official Twitter account, says this. And I quote, on February 13th of this year. Hi everyone, thank you for your patience for during my absence. Absence. Myself and a few others will be speaking about the recent situation in a th- in 30 minutes by now. So they're like, oh, we're going to get an explanation about everything, blah, blah, blah. But still, kind of coincidental, a little kawinky dink, that this just dropped a couple minutes right as Doki Bird was streaming Neopets. No, I'm not joking. Doki was willing to move on and willing to just, like, go on with her life, go on with streaming, blah, 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 hang out with her own fan base, etc. But isn't it kind of coincidence, coinkydink, that they dropped this notice of this 15-minute stream during Doki Bird's Neopets gaming stream, her first gaming stream since she's back. Oh my fucking word. This is so stupid. Why? Because I think, like, a little theory here, that they have might have, like, hey, let's drop this the same time Doki is streaming, so she might accidentally say something that she's not supposed to. Originally, Doki was going to ignore and continue streaming, but the chat kept, like telling her what um these people on stream were talking about her and who are these people here you may be asking that's with alira there's alira herself ike and vox they're all there to talk about selene they're going to talk about the selene termination notice and everything turns out that this fucking thing they've stated and even fox has stated that they have seen the document that doki's lawyer has sent to any color lawyers and other people so apparently any color has shown alara and fox and ike these documents and these they're like afraid um, Alira was like, oh, Doki's gonna dox us, blah, 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 has our personal information, blah, blah, blah. That was not Doki's plan to do that. Doki has stated that she was dealing with this in private. She did make a quick statement before she ended the Neopet stream. She said she needed to go talk to her lawyer about this because it wasn't supposed to be shown, and... It has her medical information, and that's illegal. You can't show that because she's from Canada, and that's kind of illegal. You can't really do that, blah, blah, blah. So she ends the stream abruptly to go talk to her lawyer, 
and she puts a tweet out that says, I will, she puts a tweet out and says, like, um, this was not supposed to be shown, I'm talking to my lawyer right now, and then a couple minutes later, she tweets again, saying, luckily my medical information was not leaked, it was only shown that, um, my reason, my reason of staying and my diagnosis, blah, 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 so no sensitive information was shown to the livers. But again, any color should not have done that because that is between Doki, her lawyer, and the other lawyers. That's what Doki stated in the Neopets stream. So that is just really fucked up, really messed up, and really, really stupid. Um, Doki made one more statement. Um, this would be her last statement on the matter. But I'm going to let Scarlet read it because it's a lot to take in and it's a lot to unpack. But I will say there are going to be more trigger warnings on this. So be forewarned. And if you don't want to see this part, you might want to skip this part of the video. And with that, take it away, Scarlet. I was ready to move on. I had made my last statement and I haven't looked at anything regarding my past for a full week. I didn't look at anything regarding legal documents or anything regarding my situation since I moved back to Doki. I wanted to be hopeful for the future and never interact with that side again. So to see it all come back and reopen a wound that I was ready to heal from and to have to talk to my lawyer again on how to respond. The document mentioned was at first made to document my thoughts and history with evidence so that my lawyer can see the general picture of what was going on and if there were issues that should be addressed it was first made during my darkest time mentally, and I wrote everything on my mind, little by little, at that time. I made the document thinking that it was never going to be public to anyone but to my lawyer. Although it was a document filled with my personal information, as well privacy information that should not be public, there were no other addresses or specific locations mentioned. Regarding a recording, this was not intended to be anything other than a distribution test for planning of a collaborative event between two people which happened to be left over from one test recording. And I never recorded any other conversations with anyone. The recording was never shown anywhere, even in a legal setting, and there are no other records. However, I regret that it was mentioned and I am sorry to all parties affected for the misunderstanding in this. I requested that I just wanted to move on. Sometimes I didn't hear anything for days from the lawyers on the other side and felt like I'd be alone and isolated for a long time. It made it so hard for me mentally. On February 5th, my lawyer discussed and said it will be best to show the document I wrote to the other lawyers as we have not heard from them for a week or any negotiation talks or given a meeting to discuss after my request to part. It was never intended to be used for anything else. I've asked my lawyer to convey that and have communication that the document as it was written wasn't going to be released anywhere. And my lawyer did so when sending the document. Less than two hours after my lawyer sent the document, the termination notice came out. I was very shocked, but thought that was the last time I will hear or think about the document and that this, personally, in my own opinion, was the end of the lawyers and legal involvement. All of the communication was done between lawyers and Japanese. Things are not black and white, and everything gets more complicated and muddled when lawyers are involved in a different country. When things are conveyed to multiple parties through different degrees of communication, everything turns into different narratives and different translations. I thought I was over and I've accepted what happened and ready to move on. Everything I post to the public about the situation was a response. If it was a month ago, it will have been different as I was angry, but I was also very alone in my head. But it's not a month ago and I've accepted it. I wanted it to be neutral and private but now the whole world is involved and the public is watching every step that happens. I am not perfect and I have faults. I had to watch my dad cry and break down in front of me for the first time in my life last night. Despite everything that has happened, please show kindness to all parties involved. There are real people behind the monitors. One of the reasons why I wanted this to be private is that the internet can be a cruel place. And I knew this would happen the moment this type of notice drops. What I didn't reveal to anyone, and only my parents and therapists knew, was that it was not one attempt, but two, 
which happened a few weeks after the first. My parents found me in time after searching for me for hours before anything happened. I was in a really dark place and I do not wish this to anyone. No one should go through what I went through. I reveal this now not for pity, but to state that no life, no matter what, should be risked for ego or winning anything. There are no winners in this. Please don't make it like high school. Treat everyone like adults and with some empathy and kindness. For those who wish to see receipts or documents or anything else, hoping I will reveal them. I'm sorry, but these are the things that should be private and if needed, between lawyers. Revealing private documents and talking about the details within will only just make things worse and more complicated as outside parties get involved and will just hurt everyone. No one deserves to be pushed over the edge. So many people have got hurt and involved even if they were innocent bystanders. In the end, I will always be here to respond and that is the only thing I will do in public. I hope this will be the last statement I have to make. So, thank you, Scarlett, for that long, long statement. Um, I just want to say, I think that's all I can cover about this situation. But... This has been Neko here. And thank you, Scarlett, for helping me co-host this. Um, this has been the first episode of what the actual f is going on uh hope to see you again if you have any opinions about the situation please go in the comments and be adults about it though <laughs> don't want this and i will say please again i don't condone harassment of any parties of involved with this situation with that being said bye my kittens yeah. bye bye